Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin Malone and welcome back to my true crime channel. I have not covered a case yet that has had a happy ending, but today we are changing that. And that is because four-year-old Cleo Smith from Australia was found alive after being missing since October 16th of this year. And I wish every case ended like this. On October 16th, Cleo and her family went camping. During the night, she was snatched from her tent while still in her sleeping bag. And it is estimated she was snatched somewhere between 1.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. while the family was sleeping. On top of that, she was actually sleeping on an air mattress next to a cot that her younger sister was sleeping in. According to BBC, the remote site is about 900 kilometers or about 560 miles north of Perth and it is a local attraction to the state's Coral Coast known for its wide swept ocean scenery, sea caves, and lagoons. And from the description of the tent, it seems like it was more so like a multi-room tent and the parents were in one side of the tent and the kids were in the other side. So the kids were kind of like in a different room of the tent. So when the family woke up in the morning, the mother got up to go check on the kids and Cleo was missing and the front door of the tent was open. Authorities were called and the parents were adamant that Cleo would not wander off. And this rose fears that she was abducted. Task force were immediately launched to search for Cleo and that included over a hundred officers. Western Australian deputy police Commissioner Cole Blanche has described it as being like looking for a needle in a haystack. Everything from the sky to earth to water was covered in this search. ABC reporter Evelyn Manfield described the extensive search operation saying police were up in the air on horseback using drones to forensically map every square inch by inch looking for clues. Police even scoured through hundreds of bags of roadside rubbish and this was along a 600 kilometer or again a 373 mile stretch of Western Australia. And at that point a $1 million reward was offered for information. Police haven't really spoken about what exact details or information or clue led them to finding Cleo, but Cleo was found in a locked home in Carnarvon. But as far as I know the clue has to deal with a vehicle. On November 3rd, police found four-year-old Cleo alive and well inside of the home of Terrence Daryl Kelly. And they found her mere hours after he was arrested. And there's actually video footage of Cleo being rescued. So I'm gonna play that for you guys now. This was the moment that detectives brought out Cleo Smith after finding her in that home. She looks scared and shaken but is safe and healthy and even I think lets out a little bit of a smile and that is certainly a message that was reflected later on in hospital. That bright beaming smile uh, spend out to right across the world as she uh, held on to an ice stick uh, and enjoyed the company of her family. What was Cleo's reaction to seeing her parents for the first time? Oh, you know, <laughs> mummy, <laughs> big hugs, kisses, um, yeah, and lots of tears. Now when Terence was in custody, it seems like he like threw himself against the wall, hit his head somehow, so he actually ended up injuring himself and having me brought to the hospital via ambulance. And while he was in this ambulance, he was being recorded, I'm not sure who by, but he was being recorded and it seems that one of the paramedics ended up using a blanket to cover Terence's face, which I don't understand at all. Why cover the face of someone who was accused of doing something so horrific? Does it make sense to you guys and does it bother you at all? Because it really bothers me. <laughs> so let me know down below if you agree with that. I just find it really odd that this paramedic did that. Like he does not deserve to have his face covered. Terrence was also photographed weeks later by a plane in handcuffs. He's also been described by neighbors as living in that home since childhood that Cleo was found in. And he's also been described as a loner. As far as we know, he is also not a registered sex offender, which is interesting. But another neighbor did report seeing Terrence buying some diapers and they didn't really find it odd at the time. I mean, obviously I'm sure they didn't imagine that he had a four-year-old girl that he had kidnapped inside of his home, but they did come out saying that it was odd that he was buying them. And they also reported saying that he was buying some different food than he normally bought. As far as I know, this town that Terrence lived, the population was under 5,000 people. So kind of everyone knows everyone in this town. So when Terrence started buying diapers, when he started buying some weird food, his neighbors and like the residents that knew him found it a little odd, but like not odd enough to suspect something this horrific. So little Cleo was possibly locked inside of this man's home for 18 days. And I don't even want to imagine what this sick man did to her. All we can hope for is that now that she is home safe, that she can heal from all of the trauma that has happened to her and that she can live a happy long life, which is an ending we hope for in all missing person cases. What I did find really interesting in this case is that recently police have been looking into if a woman was involved and if a woman had helped care for Cleo during the time of her abduction. Terrence also appeared in court, I think it was last Thursday or so, and that's when he was charged with forcibly or fraudulently taking or enticing a child under the age of 16, along with other offenses. It is such great news that Cleo was found safely, and I want you guys to send positive vibes to all the families out there who have a missing family member right now. Let's put some happy motivational thoughts down in the chat below and let me know your opinions on this case. As I said, I hope for more happy endings like this that I can report to you guys on instead of just tragic endings. So yeah, that is the happy ending to the case of Cleo Smith. I'm pretty sure Terrence is going to end up being charged 
If by some stroke of luck he is not, I will definitely making a update video on this case because that would be incredibly insane. Um, but possibly, hopefully when he goes to trial, more information will come out. Maybe what his motivations truly were. As always, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all my latest videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.